we listen to everybody, every stakeholder in the sport. We have an open door policy for it. Most of that works. Every now and then you get for whatever reason, it doesn't work. And so they feel the best way to communicate their issues is not directly with us, but through the media or through digital and social, which is kind of a modern version of, of the consumption of all of our sport on and off the racetrack. And so we, we, we have that, but it, it's, 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 I think it's unfair to us knowing that we're working on all these things and we'll be glad to communicate with the ones that want to do it their way. Um, and, and if, if, if there's a sincere and they're factual about what they say, that's one thing. But when they say only part of it and not all the facts along with it, I just don't think that's fair for the league and, and it's unfortunate, but yeah. it's, it's a modern day part of way of communicating or, or staking your, your, your issue in the ground. Yeah. Well, like what did some guys back in the early nineties, how, like when there was some prickly topics, how were they generally handled in your, in your opinion, the correct way? So more often than not, it was in, in the conversations. We spent a lot of time at the garages and the racetracks. It'd be four or five day shows. So you would communicate a lot at the racetracks. And and throughout time and particularly COVID and post COVID, we don't spend as much time. But but I do know that that through Steve Phelps and Steve O'Donnell's leadership and Ben Kennedy and and the folks at the R and D center that there are multiple chains of communication to replace the fact that we don't spend as much time together at the racetrack. And and for the most part it works, but it's it's kind of like city hall meetings or something. The the citizens walk away and say, "Well, I don't know if they heard us or not." And so there's then there's a lot of dialogue back and forth. But to your question, um, it, back in the day, you would you would do it more often, and it it could be unpleasant, but you would do it um, kind of out of sight. And and if if there were issues that they were pretty strongly uh, I was trying to think of the right terminology, but some issues they would be more right than we were. And we just didn't get it. And so they would show us on the racetrack and they say, oh, now we know what they're talking about. They didn't have to verbalize it. They would show us, say, if you don't do this, this is what's going to happen. And we'd say, okay, well, we'll, you know, we'll take a look at it. And then and they'd come back and say, you better, you better do this or this is what's going to happen. And so they would make it happen and show us on the racetrack and say, okay, we got it. And then that's the way we kind of work things out. It's, it's just different when you've got digital and social media today and it's, it's so popular and it's so, you know, content driven and, and appreciated, I guess, uh, for the sake of another term. 